My name is uh, Mo Green and I'm the coordinator of youth health for the Nova Scotia Department of Health and Wellness. Last year we had this really, really cool March Break Health Promotion Camp and that was really successful and we also knew that in the background there was a desire to have sort of a second lot summit sometime during the year. So we thought, why don't we take the money that supported that camp bring it to the lot summits, so then we could do a second lot summit and maybe bring health uh, as a bit of a, of a theme to the weekend. This time around we've actually learned a lot more of a different spectrum of what health means instead of just like healthy living and healthy eating. We've not only touched on like physical health but emotional, sexual and mental health as well and I think that's a another really big part of the health promotion of this. I get people coming to me every day, oh I don't like you because you you express how you feel. I don't like the way you, you're dressing, I don't like anything, I don't like your sexuality. But it's who I am. Nobody can try to take that from me. This summit's about health and wellness um, and I also know that it's an opportunity for youth and um, people in politics as well as youth workers to come together and talk about structural issues and um, problems in uh, the structures that affect and create barriers for people. I'm really excited this year because it's a different topic, uh, health and wellness, uh, which is very broad. So I'm really excited to see what's going on since the mental health has launched uh, their new strategy. I want to find out what's being done in our communities um, so we can build upon already existing programs so we're not recreating the wheel. A major part of a lot is making this a safe space and so respecting the way people want to be addressed is a big part of that. The health is such a broad statement. It could be anything from spirituality to like healthy eating, healthy living, healthy thinking. Understanding what the things that affect people's lives. Engage in positive initiatives in their communities. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just invaluable to mm -hmm. people's physical, emotional, spiritual, mm -hmm. mental health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and today this is our last day. It's Sunday, so we're talking about how do we bring this back to our communities. Um, and already there's been talk about how do we recreate what we have here at Lot um, in our home communities. So how do we bring this safe space, this healthy, the sense of well-being um, to our home communities. And there's been some fabulous ideas. Mm -hmm.